good morning. Um, and I, <laughs> it shows. It shows. Because um, I have the right necklaces on, unfortunately. So today is another day. So far, so good. Um, we're surviving in Michigan. At least I am. And so is the store. <laughs> um, tomorrow I have my day off. And I'm going to go to this interview. Unfortunately, this is my only day off, so I'm going to make the most of it. So I ask that nobody, <laughs> nobody interfere. Um, I am going to see if I can make a sock quilt, sock pattern quilt. So I'm going to buy for, some Forever 21 socks and make a quilt out of it tomorrow. I was working out how to do the whole thing, and then maybe I might be able to finish up the Charming Chevron. Um, I was extremely disappointed because the... The damn quilt buckled on me um, with the back pattern. So when it happens, you make it into a dish rag or a cloth you put the dish, like the wet dishes on. Um, that's what I did with it. Um, I did have one good piece and I was happy with it. I was like, okay, good, I salvaged something. But um, what I ended up doing is I punished the fabric, I distressed it, which is like bleaching, dyeing, dyeing, bleaching, all that stuff came out a lot better than what the fabric looked like so I'm going to continue to do it some more um, but it frays easily but today is the focus yesterday I had such such a headache um, I had Sophia I had Sophia residual and then I had L and I call it Sophia residual because it's pretty much we moved Sophia out where she was at and put in denim and it actually looks nicer and better uh, versus like it crammed in like one area uh, so Cali looks nice I like Cali I like where the denim's at plus stays the same I could not believe this I had organized the plus sale section and it got maintained so that's a good thing because I was able to uh, quickly look for something even though I couldn't find it but it was easy to do a, like a quick find which is what's supposed to happen L L seriously got tore up yesterday. I'm gonna call it Al Toro because that's exactly what fucking happened. Oh, was I crying? I was crying because you normally I can get L under control. The way these customers were tearing it up, it was it was bad. Forever Twenty One clientele is basically this: you walk in, you know that you have a sales section. Um, the first thing Forever 21 customers do is they walk towards the sales section to see what was last season, what was last month, and what was last year. Because sometimes we still have it. Um, we also put, we also sometimes like we'll put on online returns up on the shelf and then we'll move it because if it's not selling within like a few weeks, it gets moved. I've seen a, something like that happen. So you check out sales, but if you know like you're consistently one particular shop or collection, yeah, you would go to it. Like for instance, I would definitely be an L in sale. Um, it, does that mean you have to look for it? Absolutely, you'd have to look at look for it or look for somebody to tell you know say hey look, this is my style and stuff. So, yeah, Cali was maintained. Um, they didn't tear it up. They tore the hell out of L, though. They did. I mean, like, poles, m table was completely messed up. Like, the the front main eye catcher table of L was completely tore the fuck up. Um, what I'm seeing is that a lot of women are trying to fit into these tight mid these tight tight tube tops, and it's like we have some. But they want to get into this L stuff. And the plus section is only so much. But the plus section actually has a theme with it. So it's not like it's not like you're going to find L product in there. Because L is a particular type of girl. But that's exactly what I was seeing. It's not like you guys can't do it. You guys have to be, you guys have to be like aware that we're going to be looking at you. And we're going to say... You know, we have something over and plus similar to this. Only because really what I should be seeing is, like, people able to fit in those clothes, not squeeze into them. It's not being mean or anything. It's part of the S word. That It's part of the S 
letter, like, like first, so F-I-R-S. So S stands for suggest and style. So that's part of our job is that we're supposed to provide customer service like that. Um, and it just seems like we're forgetting because we're recovering so much. But then at the same time, um, I don't think we want to be approaching some of these customers. We had seen a couple people without face masks. So it's going to get to a point if, you know, the gov if the governor sees that we're not able to maintain control in our stores, she's going to shut it down. She's going to shut places down. Um, when she starts saying asking, that means she's on her, on her way back to being where it was last year. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, that's her. So right now I'm taking advantage as much as I can because we do have two weeks, if she does do this, two weeks before we walk into it. Um, we're trying to get people to cooperate and keep it going because the more we go through wearing the mask, the more time we have. Because otherwise we're gonna have to we're gonna have to walk right back into it um, sooner than expected, like we did the last time, and that pissed off Hillary, and that's the reason why I told Joe not to attack her because she thinks it's ridiculous, but she doesn't recognize that it comes right back around for everybody, and that the Dorothy ending is important because if I don't or if I don't tell you guys that, we're in a world of trouble. <laughs> We really are, because then that means that it, it's not near. And whatever game plan you guys started off with, you're going to have to adjust it big time. So I always support Joe, because he's not a stupid guy. He's with Obama. He's with Michelle and the two little brats. Unless you want to come over and cook me a real live turkey dinner, <laughs> you're still brats. Okay? I, I got a... I got a big enough pot to do a deep fried turkey in the back of the yard, okay? We just got to keep, we just give the dog to Rick, okay? We'll just relive it. And then we'll take you to each residence to see if they want a deep fried turkey, all right? Don't be playing. Don't be playing with my emotions. This is a cold tea. Gain four pounds lost in a day. Anyways, so, yeah, um, yeah, they're getting smart right now, okay, so they're smart. There is a plan B in the event that we don't get the Dorothy ending soon, but we have, and all we're asking is that people continue to wear the right mask. What I'm seeing is people having complete plastic face guards over their face, causing them not to breathe, right, um, I seen one girl have a shield guard like up like the upside down shield guard that's not a face mask okay um, we're trying not to we're trying not to approach you people with the incorrect mask because we actually do get penalized for it we do get penalized for for enforcing it okay because the way this used to work was that we used to have a group of people monitor people coming into the mall and stuff like before it used to be really airtight and rigid and that's because it was ran by like four senators yeah there's more that I'm not telling about and that's because I don't want him to find out because then we end up do going through something I don't want to go through um but yeah uh what it was was before we used to Michigan used to be welcoming. We used to invite the new coming senators and the two senators would warm them up to Michigan. Michigan's not a big state um, with everybody that's in it. It's not big. So you can get done like doing a, a, you know, a state welcome party with like three months. Um, we, that's, and they would always leave me last. So that's how we used to do it. Now we don't do it anymore. Um, something took place, that's why. Uh, yeah. So yes, we are going to we are going to continue to go through if we get let go. <laughs> um, it might be to everybody's advantage right now, um, but if we don't get let go, well, we're kind of held as prisoners. So I've never seen Forever Twenty One become 
become a Masters of the Universe Dianetics, but it has. It has. So, it has. And that's not a bad thing. That movie is, when it's run as a Dianetic, it's not a bad thing. It is if you confront the Golden Skeletor, which Michigan does have. Um, it is. It absolutely is. So, yes. I'd like to wear this back. I'd like to really wear this again. Or if, do you know why? This is actually the ankle bracelet that I had in the Bahamas when I was little. The colors. Uh, the, minus the fucking five suns. Um, yeah, no. The beads and stuff were close to exact. So that's why I want, I want this to stay on me a little bit longer than a fucking week. So. But. I picked that one. I don't tell anybody. I don't tell anybody about it. Now you guys know. But I'll have to tell it again. I just don't like the stone in the middle. It looks like a chair. I don't want anybody sitting on my neck. God help us. God help us. So. But yeah, the cats. Seriously, are giving pumpkin shit. Pumpkin hears Mir Mir and she waits. And I say, Come here, Mir Mir. And then she goes closer and then she doesn't do the whole Jack Lantern thing like she does with, you know. This dog seriously wants to look the damn cat to death. Like, <laughs> like complete Scooby Doo. Like, lick scene like, all over her face. And she's just not having it. She's making the story worse. She's making the story worse. We may eventually, we may eventually have a, we may actually have a very big egotistical Hebrew female. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this cat develops tits out of, out of all this. <laughs> That's a Hebrew joke. It's a fucking Hebrew joke. It is. It's a Hebrew joke. Anyways. So, yeah. Um, what else? Love retracting is done. The problem is, is that we're trying to avoid the first job suggestion because they do try to force a Migdala retraction, and it's not the funniest thing ever. They start laughing about it. Like I said, it's like it turns out to be like it. It is in like in a way a Roman Polanski type like freaking scene and stuff. Like, if they had to take away the knives and everything, that's what it, it ends up being. And, um, I don't like it. I don't. That's not where the money's at. That's not where the money's at at all. It's not. And I do make all the phone calls necessary to find out, like, you know, how, you know, what each job, because the first thing I have to apply for is TSA. I have to. Otherwise, that becomes a really big battle. And what doesn't get through to, through the ex-husband's head is that you have to be a resident for six months. TSA requires that if you're going to work in their state. Um, if you're gonna, if you don't want to, you'll have to work in the state that you lived previously, and you have to do it within a certain time frame. I think that's how I remember it, um, verbatim, like. It's, it is a verbatim, so if you can't recall or recollect, then you are not able to find these other places to, that TSA would go to in the event of a furlough. So that's what it is. But mine is not that. Mine's not that. Mine's a little different. Um, so, because that means everybody... So what it is is that during this time before we walk through it, everybody needs to figure out how, how, how much glitter there was on their resume for them to get to as far as they did with TSA. So I was like in the last two, like in the last um, part of the interview process, which is to be picked out between two people, which is me and another person. So, and because it's difficult to get into an airport uh, and work either like in fast food, Starbucks, or even a store, 
Um, that's the only glitter that was missing on my resume is that I don't have, you know, airport environment working experience. So, I mean, you can train anybody to take a look at an ID or pass them through and stuff, but to train them to be like an actual um, Homeland Security officer, that's a little different. They do that during a different time. Actually, I think they do that type of, I think they do that through recruiting, if I remember correctly, because I was asking all about it when I was like working at Starbucks and stuff, because it kept coming up, it kept coming up, and it kept coming up because I was being like forced to be a programmer. <laughs> that's a melting pot situation, and this is exactly why I have so much debt, because my ex-husband was in a melting pot situation. He needed to stay and obtain projects and then lucrative work off of those. That's how the melting pot goes. Now, what he had to do was do straight sale pulling. And I kept telling him to steal clients because that's exactly what you do when you're coming back into it and realize that it's pretty much... A done deal so you're stealing clients and the problem is is that one client he could have had here in Michigan was Panera and Panera has a lawsuit against the company he starts working for and come the start of actually New Year's Eve New Year's Eve into New Year's Day and he's gone all day so that's so what, what's ending up becoming an issue is the fact that every single time he's out of the house and I'm over here saying, like, I'm pushing forward, I'm moving forward, I know the end result and everything, it's almost like it's a hit against me. Because I don't know what he's seeing. I know that there's, a, like, three girls that come there to be with, with um, Jean um, and those are the three that he fucks. And I don't care if it's in thought or anything. It's still an affair. It's still an affair because I can't get out of what I'm in. I can't get out of what I'm in. Like, I can't pull myself out to be able to partake in anything. Like, I think the closest thing to excitement would be a, a, a DQ strawberry cheesecake blizzard. That's the only thing you could like could possibly put in front of me, and I'd just like drop everything and just grab it, and that's the only time you have, and then it's like back into the frame of mind again, because we're just gonna go right through it, come right back out of it, go right th through it, come right back out of it. So there's just not enough people to pull it, pull out of the loop. It has to be everybody and even the politicians, and it's not happening. It's not happening. It's, it's not. So, and where we moved to is not a, is not a great place either, because they're anti um, they're anti adjustable people. They don't like newcomers at all, and that's because it's created by the two people that should be working with the Mandevilles. So, and then we have. A group of employees that try to work through using a book for a Dianetic and it don't work, people. If you would like a movie, I can suggest one that suits you. No, you don't have to pay me. It just means that if it goes wrong, I have to see where it's going wrong. And it could just be the group of people you're with doing it as a group. I'm pretty sure, like Miss Cavage says, we never do group Dianetics unless... The group has been through it numerous, numerous lifetimes. Look, Steve's not stupid. Okay, Miscavige, Steve Miscavige is not stupid. Okay, if you think we're going through one big life film reel. <laughs> I don't know where the hell half the population's mind is at as far as intelligence goes. We drop dead and then we come right back. I'm sorry. No, we're just, <laughs> we're just looping through. <laughs> we're just looping through. But, yeah, we're going to keep that to a minimum. Come here. You upset because you can't get birdies. Yeah, pumpkin was laying there. Oh, please don't. 
Don't start the fucking morning like that. You didn't like being Toto yesterday. The cat had a collar and, a, and a, the shortest fucking leash ever that they call a leash. And the cat ran out of my mom, my grand, yeah, my mom's arm, which is grandma to him, ran out of my mom's arms and flew fucking upstairs into, into bed to get pet and loved by me because I was still in bed when it happened. <laughs> It is. They are. They're tortured. They're tortured during the day. But you did get new. You got a new food bowl, though. You have food bowls everywhere. Miriam is acting like she doesn't want to be touched. That's what she. Me, don't touch me. <laughs> That is not a game. <laughs> Just her being Hebrew ass. It's Hebrew. She's in her glory. You know she's in her glory. She's got all these like heavy jewelry rings on her. She's got a crap. She got like multiple tiaras stacked up. She's a little brat. She's a little brat. She's she's conquered the dog. That's what it is. She's conquered the dog. <laughs> Anyways, it's fun to see it's fun to see cats and dogs try to mingle mingle together, especially adult cats with an adult dog. Always funny. It is. Anyways, all right. stuff together. I think I'm missing a month. Might be in that Puma box, though. Oh, I'll be so happy if I can pull it all together tonight. Internet course. Internet course. Net phone. No, 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 no. no, no, no. So. Um, yeah. What is, can this be fought as, because these came as a gift, but Like, if I pawn it, is that a big deal? I don't know. I think I'll hold on to it. $312, yeah, my fucking foot. And you gave the other fucking broad 500 You know how I know. My whole Christmas present for the third year was Christmas Tree Shop. From Christmas Tree Shop. And I told him not to buy me anything. Okay, that's how I know. Not to buy me anything. No, because we're, 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 we're walking through it. We're walking through it. <laughs>